The story of the establishment of the United States begins long before the colonies were officially founded. In the late 15th century, Christopher Columbus's voyages in 1492, sponsored by Queen Isabella and King Ferdinand of Spain, set off a wave of European exploration. Over the next century, explorers like John Cabot in 1497 and Amerigo Vespucci mapped out much of the New World, paving the way for future colonization. The Founding of the Thirteen Colonies The first permanent English settlement in North America was Jamestown, Virginia, founded in 1607. It was followed by the Pilgrims, landing at Plymouth in 1620. Over the next several decades, thirteen colonies were established along the eastern coast, each with its own government and economy. These colonies included Massachusetts Bay, settled in 1630, Maryland in 1632, and Pennsylvania in 1681, among others. By the early 1700s, these colonies were thriving under British rule. The Road to Revolution Throughout the 17th and early 18th centuries, the colonies enjoyed a relative amount of autonomy under British rule. However, tensions began to rise in the mid-18th century due to a series of British laws and taxes. The French and Indian War, fought between 1754 and 1763, left Britain with massive debt and Parliament sought to recoup their losses by imposing taxes on the colonies. The Stamp Act of 1765 and the Townshend Acts of 1767 were particularly resented. Protests, including the Boston Tea Party of 1717-73, led to increasing hostilities between the colonists and Britain. The Declaration of Independence In 1775, the first shots of the American Revolutionary War were fired at Lexington and Concord, signaling the beginning of the colony's fight for independence. The following year, on July 4, 1776, the Continental Congress adopted the Declaration of Independence, primarily authored by Thomas Jefferson. This document officially severed ties between the American colonies and Great Britain, stating that the colonies were free and independent states. It was signed by representatives of all 13 colonies. The Revolutionary War the American Revolutionary War lasted from 1775 to 1783. Key battles during this period included the Battle of Saratoga in 1777, which marked a turning point in favor of the Americans, and the Siege of Yorktown in 1781, where British General Cornwallis surrendered to George Washington. France, under King Louis XVI, played a crucial role by providing military aid to the American forces. The Treaty of Paris, signed in 1783, officially ended the war and recognized the independence of the United States. The Articles of Confederation In 1781, the United States adopted its first constitution, known as the Articles of Confederation. This document established a weak central government, with most powers reserved for the individual states. The Articles allowed the national government to conduct foreign affairs, manage war efforts, and coin money, but it had no authority to impose taxes or regulate commerce. The limitations of the Articles became apparent in the following years as the young nation faced numerous economic and political challenges. The Constitutional Convention and the U.S. Constitution Recognizing the need for a stronger central government, delegates from, from 12 of the 13 states, Rhode Island did not participate, convened in Philadelphia in 1787 to draft a new constitution. The resulting U.S. Constitution created a federal system of government with a separation of powers between the executive, legislative, and judicial branches. It was ratified in 1788 and took effect in 1789, with George Washington becoming the first president of the United States that same year. The Bill of Rights Shortly after the Constitution was ratified, there was widespread concern that it did not protect individual liberties. In response, James Madison drafted the Bill of Rights, consisting of the first ten amendments to the Constitution. These amendments were ratified in 1791 and guaranteed essential rights such as freedom of speech, religion, and the press, as well as protections against unreasonable searches and cruel and unusual punishment. The Early Republic The first few decades of the United States saw significant growth and challenges. George Washington served two terms as president from 1789 to 1797, setting many precedents for future presidents. His successor, John Adams, served from 1797 to 1801, during a period marked by tensions with France, Thomas Jefferson, 
who served from 1801 to 1809, oversaw uh, the Louisiana Purchase in 1803, which doubled the size of the United States, the War of 1812. The young nation's sovereignty was tested again in the early 19th century with the War of 1812 against Great Britain. Causes of the war included British restrictions on U.S. trade and the impressment of American sailors into the British Navy. The war, which lasted until 1815, saw significance, including the burning of Washington, D.C. in 1814. However, the United States emerged victorious, and the Treaty of Ghent ended the war in 1815. Westward Expansion and Manifest Destiny Throughout the 19th century, the United States expanded westward, driven by the belief in manifest destiny, the idea that the country was destined to expand across the continent. Key events during this period included the annexation of Texas in 1845, the Oregon Trail migration in the 1840s, and the Mexican-American War from 1846 to 1848. The Treaty of Guadalupe Hidalgo, which ended the war, resulted in the United States acquiring much of the present-day southwestern United States. The Civil War One of the most significant events in U.S. history was the Civil War, fought from 1861 to 1865. The war was primarily over the issue of slavery and states' rights. Southern states, led by the Confederate States of America, America, seceded from the Union following the election of Abraham Lincoln in 1860. Major battles during the war included the Battle of Gettysburg in 1863 and the Battle of Antietam in 1862. The war ended with the surrender of Confederate General Robert E. Lee at Appomattox Courthouse in April 1865. Reconstruction and the Industrial Revolution. After the Civil War, the United States underwent a period known as Reconstruction, during which the Southern states were reintegrated into the Union and the rights of newly freed African Americans were addressed. The 13th, 14th, and 15th Amendments passed between 1865 and 1870 abolished slavery, granted citizenship, and protected voting rights for African Americans. Simultaneously, the United States entered the Industrial Revolution with rapid technological advancements and urbanization transforming the nation's economy. The United States in the 20th century. By the early 20th century, the United States had become a global power. It played a significant role in World War I, entering the conflict in 1917. The post-war period saw economic growth, but the stock market crash of 1929 led to the Great Depression. Under President Franklin D. Roosevelt, the United States implemented the New Deal, a series of programs aimed at recovering from the economic crisis. The nation also played a critical role in World War II, entering after the attack on Pearl Harbor in December 1941. Victory in 1945 solidified the United States position as a world superpower. The Cold War and Civil Rights Movement Following World War II, the United States entered a period of geopolitical tension with the Soviet Union, known as the Cold War. This era, which lasted from 1947 to 1991, included events such as the Cuban Missile Crisis in 1962 and the Vietnam War from 1955 to 1975. Domestically, the civil rights movement of the 1950s and 1960s, led by figures such as Martin Luther King Jr., sought to end racial segregation and discrimination against African Americans. Since the end of the Cold War, the United States has continued to evolve. Key events in recent decades include the terrorist attacks of September 11, 2001, which led to the War on Terror, and the election of Barack Obama as the nation's first African-American president in 2008. Today, the United States remains one of the world's leading economic, political, and cultural powers, with a diverse population and a commitment to democratic values.